I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't know my mic was muted and I'd been speaking, I'm really sorry. Um, welcome to God's Secret Weapons today. I was saying that if you have friends and family around you that are sleeping, that you need to wake up, wake them up because our God is a God who is good. And today he's set to do the miraculous in your life. I was saying that today is the day that you can mark on your calendar. You can be sure about it, that today is a day that you can put a tick, you can put an asterisk, you can put anything you want because he's a wow God. He's a God that is set to do exceeding abundance abundantly above that which you can dare ask or think according to the power that is at work within you and that power is the same power that raised Christ from the dead and now he's seated at the right hand of the father in heavenly places it is that same power that dynamic power it is that power that is available tonight it is that power that is working it is that power that raised Christ from the dead it is that power that raised Lazarus from the dead it is that power that is able to change situations. I like the fact that our God is the unchanging changer. It means that tonight things will be changed. Things will be turned around. There are things that have, are not supposed to be there, but they will be there. This morning, um, I was in the prayer meeting with um, Reverend Ben, who is you know, the father of our house and firm foundation. And he said something that struck me that, I had been thinking about all day and you know i was sharing with a couple of people and i just want to remind us of it and i want us to take it from there and he said that you know god said that you can when you forgive on earth it is forgiven in heaven and you know that reminded me of several other scriptures where he says you can bind on earth and it's bound in heaven you can lose on earth is loose in heaven you know you can build you can plant you can uproot you know if you're reading proverbs it gives us authority and power to do certain things which when you do it here on earth it happens in heaven and you know what he was saying was that you have that authority and you have that power you have the power enough to even forgive someone here and heaven is going to acknowledge it heaven is going to say that because i knew she forgave somebody we are going to forgive that person it means that we are so powerful and when we come here the words of our mouth and our decrees and our declarations are so powerful you know the thing is I was just thinking and saying that it's really true when the Bible says death and life are in the tongue and you should you can eat the fruit thereof. But he says what? Well, choose life. Choose life. I mean, not just for yourself, but for others. And so today, I want you not to just think about you. I want you to think about others. I want you to think far and wide while you pray. I don't want you to just be it, it to be just a me, myself and I, or think about just your family, but I want you to think about your environment. Think about the spheres of influence where you work. Think about that boss at work. Think about your, 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 your living environment. Think about your city. Think about your nation. Think about the continents of this world and let us gather together and pray for them. Lord, we give you all the glory tonight. Lord, we give you praise. We just thank you because you are set to do the miraculous yes that is what i hear that god is set to do the miraculous and as our mother comes in we know that god can be trusted we know that you are a god that when you speak it comes to pass we give you all the glory and we give you all the praise lord we praise you lord we praise you for tonight we thank you because you are a god that can be trusted yes again we say you are a god that can be trusted we thank you tonight for every single one that will come every single one that will join us tonight we thank you because we are not leaving the same way. We are not going back the same way. Every time you show up, something happens. Every time you show up, there is change. Every time you show up, there is a wow in our hearts. Every time you show up, something happens. I love that song that says, you don't have to come, but you always do. When you step in the room, the atmosphere changes. Lord, tonight we welcome you to change the atmosphere. The Bible says that we should acknowledge you in everything and our way will be successful. Tonight, sweet Holy Spirit of the living God, we acknowledge you. We call upon you, come and do what only you can do. We we call upon you, come and do what only you can do. We acknowledge your person. We acknowledge your presence. The Bible says you are omnipresent. You are everywhere. And we know that you are here because where two or three are 
gathered together. There you are in our midst. You are mighty in our midst. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration. In the name of Jesus, we welcome you. Um, I don't want to take too much time before our mother comes. I want to read um something to you from Isaiah 50 verse 7. It just it was just impressed on my heart. Isaiah 50 verse 7. Isaiah 50 verse 7. I'm just opening it. He says, I'm reading the New Living Translation. It says, because the sovereign Lord helps me, I will not be disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like a stone, determined to do his will. And I know that I will not be put to shame. This is the posture and this is the attitude that we should have tonight. It says, because the sovereign Lord helps me, because our Iman well is present because our Ebenezer is present. He says, I will not be disgraced. Today you will not be disgraced. Today we will not be disgraced. Today the nations of the world will not be disgraced. The enemy has other plans, but because we know the plans of God, we will not be disgraced. He says, therefore I have set my face like a stone. This is the part that I love. I have set my face like a stone. So it means that no matter what the child is saying, no matter whatever is happening, you have set your face like a stone. Setting your face like a stone. Do you know what, what happens in, in, in the wilderness? You still have stones in the wilderness. They face extreme heat. There's sometimes no, no rain for years. Or even stones that are in where there is so much rain. Nothing happens to them. They are intact. Sometimes they may be broken, some pieces of them may be broken down. But what happens is that they stay. They don't disintegrate. That is what it means when you set your face like a stone. So tonight, I want you to set your face like a stone. What? Determined to do his will. I love that part. Determined to do his will. It means that I will stay in sync in the center road that will not be put to shame. So tonight I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, I know that with you I can never be disgraced. With you we can never be disgraced. With you the body of Christ can never be disgraced. With you my country will never be disgraced. With you we can, we can, we can take it to the bank anytime. He says I will be determined to do his will. And I know that I will not be put to shame. God is not in the business of to shame. God is in the business of lifting us. God, God is in the business of, 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 of elevating us. He's in the business of doing new things every day and showing himself strong. He's in the business of pouring out his love upon us. Oh, the Lord is in the business of showing us grace and mercy. This is what God is in the business of doing. Lord, we give you all the glory. Lord, tonight we set our faces upon you like a stone. I like the, the King James Version. He says like a flint, I will set my face. I will set my face and I know that I will not be put to shame. He says, I know, King James Version says, I will set my face like, like a stone and I know that my hope, my hope, will not be put, my hope will not end. I will not be put to shame. I will hope upon the Lord. Tonight our hope is in the Lord. Our hope is in the Lord as we have gathered here. Why? Because we know that God can be trusted. We know that God can be trusted. You know, um, one scripture that always sets me going when we think of God can be trusted, I'm not going to take your time by reading it, is the story of Anna. Anna was a prophetess who waited for the coming of the Messiah. The Bible talks about how she was widowed when she was really young. And then she went into the temple day and night. The Bible says she fasted, she prayed, she went into the temple day and night. She was so diligent. Do you know she was widowed very young? In those days, they married very young. And I think the Bible says her husband died after, I think, seven years. So you can imagine... If the Mary, Mary, the mother of Jesus that we know, according to historians, they say she was married at the age of 14. So imagine if Anna was married at the age of 14. It means that by the time she was 21, or let's say at most 25, her husband had died. And the Bible says that she went day and night. She was fasting, she was praying for the coming of the Messiah. 
happened. That is setting your face like a flint before God, setting your face like a stone. She could only do it because she knew that our God is a God that can never fail. Our God is a God that can be trusted. Tonight, your God is a God that can never fail. Your God is a God that can be trusted. What is it that is in your heart? What is it that he has said concerning your place of work? That I, I hear this clearly. He has said something concerning your your place of work but you have decided to turn yourself away like ah, it is not my business but you are there for it for, for a purpose and a time like this and there is something to your face uh, that is to pass until the messiah comes to pass until you see the promised land and the bible says that she set her face like a flame and that she um, she didn't she, she was there day and night praying and fasting until she saw desire that means she was there for at least 60 years okay so we're having some kind of network challenge i'm ending instagram again Seem to have a good network today. What's happening today? Shalom, friends. It's a good day. So we pray God's blessings over the network. Where All the network is wonderful today. Instagram is almost completely off. God help us. Those of us that have an anointing for network for network, begin to pray that release that anointing on us this this morning. It's a good day. It's a good day. We're having network challenge. Okay. It's a good day today. It's a good day today. Ah. Mm. I put you in front, in front of my melody. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. Oh, I put you in front. Front of my melody. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I'll make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. Friends, however way the network goes, Pastor Lucy said we should set our faces like the flint stone. We are here today. God can actually be trusted. So today I'm wearing the jersey of my nation. Nigeria must rise. Nigeria will not, will not fall. Nigeria will rise. Nigeria will rise to the top. Nigeria will return to its place of destiny. Amen. And when we pray for Nigeria, I don't want you to start thinking about one place. I want you to think about yourself. You are Nigeria. So wherever you are across the nations of the world, when you hear Nigeria, we're actually praying for you. So every prayer that we're going to say today that you hear Nigeria, Hold your, have yourself at the back of your mind that this prayer is for me. 
may I categorically tell everybody today that whatever plan the enemy has against this nation, he will not succeed. Amen. Remember I say you are Nigeria. Remember, have that at the back of your mind. Whatever plan the enemy has against us as a nation, it will not see the light of the day. It Amen. will collapse. It will capsize. It will fall. And then they'll be disappointed in their faces. And I want us to turn to Ezekiel chapter 11. Ezekiel chapter 11. Can someone read for me, please? Can someone read for me? Ezekiel 11. Then the Spirit lifted me up and brought me to the gate of the house of the Lord that faces east. There at the entrance of the gate were 25 men, and I saw among them Jananiah, the son of Azua, and Paletia, the son of Benaniah, leaders of the people. The Lord said to me, Son of man, these are the men who are plotting evil and giving wicked advice in this city. Let's begin to thank the Lord today that every wicked person against our nation will be exposed. Every wickedness against this nation, that wickedness will be exposed. I want you to thank God ahead of time. I want you to bless the name of the Lord. Rosaka Protoria Basa Kotose. Lendra Duria Zeke Protoria Basa Koroshake. Every wickedness against Nigeria. Every wicked person, wicked action, wicked circumstance, wicked structure, wicked system. Lord, we declare today that all of them will be exposed. Medoria Zaka Protonia Zerebosha. Rasikra Doshe Kalidoro Seka Brodoshe. Rose Karia Tushere Dario Shokala. Rajuria Deria Boso Kradeshe. Lord, we stand as a people. We declare thank you, Jesus. We declare thank you, Lord. God, we serve this God that is so real. Our God is real. I want you to, listen. don't labo shekaba. Risantoria baske protoria zeleboshe. Retaria bocho calabosho caladeshe. Roche calabatoria zekrebosho crabaleshe. Rosho calidaria bosho calababa. Nekebosho calidara bosha. Rese crabosho calidara babashe. Rose calidara babalashe calababa roche. Rose calidara baba roche calidara basho. Rete calabatoria basho calababashe. Rose calidara boshoko. Father, we thank you because every wickedness against our nation. Every wickedness against our family. Lord, we thank you because Ezekiel 11 has shown us that such wickedness will be exposed. Let's read on. Let's read on. It's when I say Nigeria today, I don't want you to think about something that is very far. I want you to think about yourself. Think about your family. Think about all the things that makes you a Nigerian. You are real. The it says there at the entrance of the gate were 25 men. I saw among them Jananiah, the son of Azua. Shall we read together? Palatia, Palati, the son of Benaniah, leaders of the people. The Lord said to me, Son of man, God's secret weapon. These are the men who are plotting evil and giving advice in this city. They say, Haven't our houses been recently rebuilt? The city is a port and we have been meeting it. Therefore, prophesy against them. Prophesy God's secret weapons. Hello, my friends. Everything that has constituted wickedness, that has constituted evil, that has constituted, we are going to prophesy against it today. But I want to, first of all, to thank God that he led us to this scripture. Thank him for the revelation of Ezekiel chapter 11. Thank him for that revelation. 
Rabo so crade so calada boche, calida raboche calabata. Rabasuria de craporios cobra deche. Sele caroche calabatoria. Let's read on verse five, verse five. Let's five together. Let's read together, verse five. Verse five. Let's read together. Then the Spirit of the Lord came on me, and he told me to say, This is what the Lord says. This is what you uh, that is what you are saying. You leaders in Israel shall read it together. But I know what is going through your mind. You have killed many people in this city and filled these streets with the dead. Verse 7. Therefore, this is what the sovereign Lord says. The bodies you have thrown there are the meat, and this city is the poor. But I will drive you out of it. Say amen. Amen. Say amen. Amen. Say amen. 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 I want you to say, Father. Thank you, because you have promised to drag wickedness out of our bodies, out of our cities, out of our nation, out of our families. Father, today we agree with you. That's why we are praising you. That's why we are declaring that you are real. In the name of Jesus. Verse 8. You fear the sword, and the sword is what I'll bring against you. Lord, I will drive you out of the city and deliver you into the hands of foreigners and inflict punishment on you. Verse 10. You will fall by the sword. I will execute judgment on you at the borders of you. Say amen. amen. Then you will know that I am the Lord. This city will not be a port for you. Say Nigeria. Nigeria. You will not be a port for wicked men. Say Nigeria. Nigeria. You will not be a port for evil men. In the name of Jesus. Okay, verse, verse 11. This city will not be a port for you, nor will you be the meat in it. I will execute judgment on the borders of Israel. And you will know that I am the Lord. For you have not followed my decrees or kept my laws, but have conformed to the standards of the nations around you. Verse 13. Now, as I was prophesying, Pelatia, son of Benaniah, died. Again? Pelatia, son of Benaniah, Verse 13, verse 13. Beginning. Now, as I was prophesying, Pelatia, the son of Benaniah, died. Then I fell face down and cried out in a loud voice. Alas, sovereign Lord, would you completely destroy the remnant of Israel? Verse 14. The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, the people of Jerusalem have said of your fellow exiles and all the other Israelites. They are Let's stop from that. Let's start from that 13. Let's read verse 13 again, everybody. Everybody, if you see, if you have ever tasted Nigeria in any way, in any form, I know there are many other cities, nations joining us. If I've ever tasted Nigeria in any way, in any form, let's read this verse 13 together. Ezekiel chapter 11, verse 13. One to go. Now, as I was prophesying, yes, again, yes. We're going to prophesy with a song, a song that says, God, you are real. This song was done in Femme Foundation many years ago. We don't lay any credit to it. It's done by Nathaniel Bassey. As we're going to sing, we're going to use it to prophesy. God, these things we're reading today is real. And we declare the same experience to our nation, for our families, beloved. As you have come, God gave me a very special mandate for today's meeting. I'm going to be reading the scriptures as the Spirit will, will lead us. I want you to know whatever represents evil in your life, 
whatever represents evil in your nature, evil in every that has to do with you. I, Ezekiel 11 verse 14 becomes our prophecy today. Are you ready? Nigeria is our nation. Nobody will take it forever. We don't have any other one. Together, let's play. Let's play this song. Why is it to professor? Why is it to professor? Lako se kabasha. When I fly, when I think you are there, my God, you are real. I want you to begin to prophesy for where you are. I want you to look at your life. Everything that represents an ugly experience. He said, as I prophesied, Galatia, the son of Benaniah died. Some things must die in our nation. Some systems must die. Every palatial structure, palatial system, palatial statement, every palatial government, everything that represents palatia, rasu krato sho kalato sho, palatiali sho roto, basi kalu sho koto ya zaka, bali kalu sho basi kalu koto ya basho koto Can someone read for me where you are, you are there? Read Psalm 67 for me. La Hosha, quickly, quickly. Katuria Basu Kradeshe. Psalm 67, yes. May God be gracious to us and bless us. May God be gracious to us and bless us. And make his face shine on us. And make his face shine on us. So that your ways may be known on earth. So that your ways may be known on earth. Your salvation among all nations. Your salvation among all nations. May the peoples praise you, God. May the peoples praise you, O Lord. May all the peoples praise you. May all the peoples praise you. May the nations be glad and sing for May joy. May the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you, for you rule the peoples. For you rule the peoples with equity, Kaloshi. You guide the nations of the earth. May the peoples praise you, Lord. May all the peoples praise you. Lord. May all the peoples praise you. The land yields its harvest. Oh, the land will yield its harvest. God, our God, blesses us. God, our God will bless us. Kaloshi. God bless us still. So that all the ends of the earth. <coughs> 
so that all the ends of the earth will fear him. I'd like you to begin to praise the name of the Lord. Begin to praise our God. Lakura Boshe Kata. Rasuria de Shokarababalushe. Reta Karia Bosho Kalidaraboshe Kalaboshe. Re Sakura Babaloshe Kalababaloshe. Reta Kaboshe Kratoria Basu Kradeshe. Begin to lift up your voices. Remember, we are prophesying. Remember, we are prophesying. We are prophesying. Oh, la casuria dosha. Re sacoro, carabosoria te sherepoto. Re cabarusia de cateria basso. He said, Let the people praise him. That's a command. From your bed where you're lying down or sitting down, lift up your voices and begin to bless the Lord. I see a healing for a skin problem. Kalusha carabatoria. I see a healing for a skin problem. Moshuria dashia de daria suria tasharabato. Rabu sakaratoria bato krate sherekoto. Roba sikratoria bafu krate sekoto she. Roba sikratoria bafu krate sherekoto. Roba sakratoria bafu krate ya bato lokoto. La profesa yiro. La sikratoria bafu krate de rocha. La sikratoria bato. Let the people praise him. Maroche kalita di obosuria te shelekura. Ekratos koroba tiere katoria. Roba sakratos chokoto. Ole kata kabusha kata. Ekratos kele tayakusha. Ekratos ekratoria sakratoria batoche. Rosokre te di obosuria tiere katikra bototo. Ola basikratos kebla ne shetere kusha. Ori basikratoria basu kalata yaba. Basikratoria bosoro kushere kata. In the precious name of Jesus, there is someone here. Fire burnt you some time on the on the tummy. Fire burnt you some time on the tummy, and the injury. Uh, I see that that injury here there is not still properly healed. Shall we now? We raise, we lift our hands over you. We call for healing. Amen. We call for complete restoration. Amen. We call for complete healing for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, I want you to say, I will fulfill my destiny. I'm not hearing you. I don't know about you. Me, Pastor K, I will fulfill my destiny. I don't know about you. Me, Pastor K, I'll fulfill my destiny. I will fulfill my destiny. Numbers chapter 23, we're going to be, someone's going to be reading from verse 8. We're prophesying today. If you're joining us this evening, we're going another way. We're going a different way. Let me explain to you what prayer actually means. Um, in, in Jesus came and the culture that expressed him was the Jewish culture. In the, in the Jewish, in Hebrew, when you write prayer, it's the picture. Hebrew letters are written in symbols and pictures, all right? The, the picture of the alphabet that represents prayer is front head, back head, and an ox going into a yoke, entering a yoke. That's what prayer means, front head, back head, and an ox entering into a yoke. Prayer actually means to turn your head so that you can face the one who can bear the burden. That's what prayer means. Turn your head to face the one who can bear the burden. And I was sharing with my team, gossip with my members, and I said to them, just imagine if you have a load on your head that you don't want. It happens to your children. You put something on their head that they don't want. They will turn their head like this until the thing falls. So if there is any load that is on your head today, I hope you, have, you remember to wake up your brothers and your sisters and your friends. If there is any load on your body today, I carry Nigeria on my, on my I wear them as a load. We are going to turn our head. As you are saying these prayers, you keep turning your head to the one who can bear the burden. The one who can bear the burden of Nigeria. Not only my head, I turn my body like this. I turn it like this, security issues, economy issues, uh, 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 political di discrepancies and all the issues that we don't understand. Uh, if not only head will I turn, 
I will turn my body like this. I'm wearing Nigeria as a, as a garment. I will turn it like this. I will turn it like this and say, Father, we turn ourselves to the one who can bear the burden. So Numbers chapter 23, verse 8. Someone read for me quickly. I hope you got it. We're, we're prophesying. We're prophesying. Numbers 23, verse 8. Numbers 23, verse 8. Can someone read for me? What is this? Lift your voice. Lift your, lift your voice and read it. How can I cause those whom God has not caused? How can I denounce those whom God has not denounced? Today I announce over you if there be any curse that have been hanging over your head. Jesus went to the cross and broke it. So every, every intention to curse you, every curse over this nation, we prophesy everybody from your room like a corporate army. Let's begin to declare that the curse over our nation, curse over your family, that pattern, since we're in this nation, it has, it has been the same kind of experience in your family, every experience, especially the one that seems to be repeating itself, especially the experiences that do not seem to go away, that seem to be repeating themselves. I want you to prophesy like a priest. I want you to declare in the name of Jesus, Lo sika bo shekata, raturia mu sekretu sentere, oratoria bestele koso, palesia, we prophesy against you. Let those show, nobody, no curse can stay on you anymore. Every curse is broken. How can I curse? Jesus has blessed you. No one can curse you. The hand of the Lord is upon you. His goodwill is upon you. The goodwill of the Lord is upon you. No one can curse you. These are the kind of things that should be coming up for your mouth. You can put it in the comment section. We stand together today. Lahuse karabatoria basokrotoria basakaratorie. Rose kratoria basukrade se krotoria basa. Rato she kataria bosokrateshe. Rose karatoria basukrateshe. Every curse has been broken. Every curse has been broken. Curse over Nigeria. Curse over the mindset in the name of Jesus. The Nigeria mindset, the Nigeria skill set, the Nigeria governmental system. We announced today. In the name of Jesus. Verse 9, verse 9, verse 9, verse 9. Verse 9. From, from the rocky peaks, I see them. From the heights, I view them. I see a people who live apart. Say we're people who live apart. Say we're people who live apart. Say I am a person that lives apart. Say I am different. Say I am different. I have been separated. Say my head cannot be cursed. Say my head cannot be cursed. Say I will not carry cursed from anywhere. I will not carry from anywhere. Because Jesus already redeemed me. Read on, read on, read on, read on fast, fast. And do not consider themselves one of the nations. And do not consider themselves one of the nations. Who can count the dust of Jacob? Who can count the dust of Nigeria? Or number even a fourth of it. Or even number a fourth of a dust state. Let me die the death of the righteous. Let me die the death of the righteous. And may my final end be like theirs. Yes, yes, verse 11. Balak said to Balaam. Balak said to Balaam. What have you done to me? Which, what kind of thing is this? I brought you to I, I hired you and paid you money to come and curse them. But you have done nothing but bless But them. instead of cursing them, you are, I want you to begin to say, everything that has been done against us shall turn into breakthrough. Every act, everything that has been done against us, every plan to humiliate us, to denigrate us, to break us, every plan of insecurity will turn into breakthrough. Sali Toshaba. I like you to begin to declare everything that has been done against you to humiliate you, everything that has been.
turn against us. Every insecurity plan shall turn to a blessing. Every insecurity plan, whatever evil plan, sorry, I dash your auto. Or if a secret or your boss shake it, or if a balisharia to your basuria dish, Rose Kalida or Bose Kalata, Rose Kraboske, Rose Kravaroske Levarata. It will turn out for my good. Everything that was done to shame me, it will turn out for my good. Nigeria, listen, every plan. Will turn out to your good. Hey, God, step, listen. Every stealing, every stealing against Nigeria will turn for our good. Every bad policy, like on our secret or your basu kradeshi, he crando shokali tadi oboche, he crando shokra de shokroto, or he babalu shekala doshi, retoria balaba balo shekate, no sekra balo maskele bacho, rekada bako shere kateria basho koto, rekatoria basho kala babalo she, leka basu kradeshi. Every enchantment will turn for me. Palabu shekate, Rosia Carababalo shekanababaloshe, Rosia Carabalos Kelebaria for shekate, Rosia Carababalo shekate Kabala. People come and people go. That's the way life is. Some make a mark on the sands of time. Others get through without touching a life. Some go through without a degree. Why others touch generations? For me, this prophecy. I must fulfill my destiny. I must fulfill my trust. I will not fulfill the destiny of the wicked. And I must perfect my generation. I must touch million lives. I say you must fulfill. Yeah. 
should lie. Can we read together? Not a human being that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? Hey, hey, verse 20. He said, I have, can we read together? I have received a command to bless. He has blessed. I cannot change it. May we prophesy over you today. You are a man and a woman God has blessed. No man can curse you in the name of Jesus. I announce over you today. Go with me. Say, I am a man and a woman that God has blessed. No man can curse me. I declare today the hand of the Lord is upon my nation. The hand of the Lord is upon me. Prophetically, put your hand on your head. Say, today I announce to the east, to the west, to the north, to the south. Call your name. Kebes in Ahidu. A Nigeria is a woman the Lord has blessed. There is a command over my head. Command over my head. A command of God's blessing. Command of God's favor. I use myself as a point of contact to my nation. I declare today we are a blessed people. There is a command over our heads, a command of blessing, not of sickness, not of kidnapping. I am a blessed person. I am a Nigerian. I am not under a cross. In the name of Jesus. Everybody, verse 21. Numbers 23, verse 21. We'll read it together. Numbers 23, verse 20. Everybody, if you're not reading, it means that the enemy has cheated you. If you're not reading, it means the enemy has cheated you. We are prophesying. Numbers 23, verse 21. No misfortune is seen in Jacob again. No misfortune is seen in You're going to do a prophetic act. You will stand and then you will declare it. You're going to do a prophetic act. You will remove Jacob. You put your name. The second one, you put the name of Nigeria. The third one, you put the name of your state. The fourth one, you put the name of your family. 
The first one you put your name. The second time we did it again, you put the name of Nigeria. The third one you put the name of your state. The fourth one you put your family name. You're going to do it four times. We're going to do it seven times. Number one, no misfortune is seen in Kebensena Hibe. No mystery is observed. It's two, it's two. We're going to do it seven times. Seven number of completion. I don't know. I'm hearing leprosy cleansed. I'm hearing leprosy cleansed. I'm hearing side bone, side bone fixed back, fused back together. Fused back together. I'm hearing shrine catch fire. Amen. We're going to do this seven times. We're prophesying today. We're prophesying today. No misfortune is seen in Kebens in Ahidu. No misery is observed in Kebens in Ahidu. No Doria Basukra de Kalabotoria. We're going to say it. No misfortune is seen in Nigeria. No misery is observed in Nigeria. Now you're going to call your you're going to call your state. No misfortune is seen in a dust state. No mystery is observed in a dust state. You're going to call your family name. No misfortune is seen in Kevin's Mahibet family. No mystery is observed in Kevin's Mahibet family. We're going to everybody pray in the house, pray in the spirit because they're doing something to pray in the spirit. Ne darabo shekara toria zakra bo reshkete. Bo sekra toria basukra de lekosha. Ne kala doria basukra de kala bala bala no sheleka teria bosu. Ne kala bala bala la kala bala katoria basu lekoshe. Ne kala doria basukra de sheleka teria basu kala teria basu. Bo sekra dala ba. Make sure you focus. Don't let anything distract you. Focus your mind. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. We're going to go again. We're going to go again. We're going to repeat it again. We're starting with Nigeria now. No misfortune is seen in Nigeria. So I want to, want to go. No misfortune is seen in Nigeria. No mystery is observed in Nigeria. No misfortune is seen in a dust day. No mystery is observed in a dust day. You put your name now. No misfortune is seen in me. No, no misfortune is seen family now. No misfortune is seen. No misfortune is your church family now. No misfortune is seen in firm foundation. No misfortune is observed in firm foundation family. Go to verse 23. Go to verse 23. Torada kiara doria zakro se kradoria. Just pray in the Holy Ghost says. Lekaturia baso krateria ba. It's boiling. It's boiling. It's boiling. Foradi sharo bosu. I want you to start getting ready to dance. God is about to do something you will never forget for generations. God is about to do something. I see you dancing a very, a funny dance. La tushe kata. La tushe kariya bosu. Lekaturia bose kredoria dashara. Iglados que la ves que le dan los ojos, Iglados que le va a tirar el cato de agua soca, Iglados que le echa de agua se le da de agua soca, Iglados que le va a tirar el cato, la tata la voz o cato de agua va a la baba la voz y te te, Iglados que le va a la dada va a ser el de la caca, Iglados que le va a la dada va a ser el de la caca, my grave receive your healing. My grave receive your healing. My grave receive one green spirit go. One green spirit go. Perpetual delay go. Perpetual delay go. Distractions go. In the name of Jesus, there's someone that joined the broadcast. You have the headache as, that, as if your head is being split into two, as if your head is you have just been healed. Yeah. Verse 23, verse 23. We're going to read it in King James, verse 23, King James. At the end of this broadcast, there is a team, there is a Zoom team where you are ministered to. For those of you who like 
much more ministration. Usually we have a Zoom meeting that happens after. Uh, but for this evening, we're not going to observe that meeting because we have, we're praying from 10, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. for our nation. I'm not the initiator. Initiator is uh, Apostle Gegede Busola. We are praying 36 days of the nation. We are praying 36 days of the nation. At 12 o'clock, we're going to blow the shofar all over the nation at the same time. At the same time, oh Gaya Baro Shekalabaraba, Shakarabatoria Dasha. So the Zoom meeting is not going to meet because the team will be getting ready for that meeting. Okay. Verse 23. Verse 23. King James Version. Verse 23. King James Version. Verse 23. King James. Surely there is no there is no what against Tonya. That's it. It was very prophetic today. It was very prophetic. Surely there is no enchantment against Chebens and Ahibe. Every enchantment against this nation. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Every creator Every enchantment, where they call people in the mirror, every drama prone structure, there shall not be enchantment. There shall not be enchantment. Let the Amalios go over to the Catoria Massacre. Or of a secretaria Bashi, the secretaria Baloch, the Batsirecato, the secretaria Basuka de Gabloshi, the secretaria Basokrata, La Sukrados, La Kura Babalush, the Kladuska of Basula, La Sukrates, the Kromdoske, pray the spirit. Jesus, I love the way I, I, I love the way that as I was saying it, people are rising against it. I want to not to accept any enchantment, any divination, any medical report. for Dangote this morning. We just pray for him in the precious name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we just begin to pray the hand of God upon him and upon his life and upon his generation. In the name of Jesus. I will say more than that. He said, there is, and no, is there any divination? What is divination? Divination is witchcraft. I want you to declare say today, 
in this God's secret weapon. I stand against witchcraft in the name of Jesus. In Nigeria, every spell over our nation, we declare. I want you to lay your hand on your head as a point of contact to Nigeria and to yourself and to your family. Lay your hand on your head. Lay your hand on your head. Lay your hand on your head. Everybody, God uses people differently. Yes. Somehow, somehow, when, when, when he's using me this way, just lay your hand again on your head. I am the Nigeria that they are talking about. I am the Nigerian they are talking about. I don't know who I'm talking to now. Then it's over. I don't know what I'm talking to. I say, hold on to the Lord and trouble not your heart, even when you fail. It's not I don't know who this song is for. I don't know who this song is for. It's not over. It's not over. Oh, 
Today. We're going to give you an offering today. I was hoping that, I was trusting that some of our family members online will post the, the, the account number so that we can give an offering. Let us, let us begin today's fast, day seven, day seven. If you don't have the book, you can get it from Fem Shop. I ask that I might, we ask that we might fulfill that we might function in the fear of the Lord as a judge in the realm of the spirit. Thanks so much, Lord, for allowing us to make decrees, issue declarations, release prayers, present petitions before you. We ask, Lord, that things will come to divine order in the natural as things shift in the spirit with this decrease. Lord, may breakthroughs come because of you allowing us to function as a judge from the courts of heaven. Thank you so much for this honor and privilege. In Jesus' name, so be it. Lord, we thank you for all Jesus has done for us. We thank you that we have been repositioned in the realm of the spirit because of Jesus' work on the cross. As we stand in these dimensions and by faith, we declare we have access to your courts. We declare that the courts of heaven is open to us. Amen. We declare that we have the right to stand in your holy place. Amen. At this point, friends, what do you want? What is the purpose for which you decided you embarked on this fast? At this point, Jesus said, when you pray, when you give, and when you fast. So the first one is to turn your head to the one who can bear the burden. The second one is to repent, to say, I want to see things the way you see it, so that whatever hurts your heart will hurt my, my heart. And then you do something about what God is showing you. The third one is to forgive people. These are the three dimensions of prayer, three progressions of prayer. Lord, I have turned my head and I turn the burden of youth development youth problems lord i drop them on your shoulders what are the burdens that you're dropping on the altar this morning what are the burdens that you're dropping on the altar this morning in the precious name of jesus what are the burdens that you're dropping on the altar thank you mighty god and at this communion today we call it communion of signs and wonders Communion of unusual decrees. Lord, as we take this communion, we call forth that the decrees we have made today will stand like weapons of war and fight as secret and public battles in Jesus' precious name. And the church will shout a big amen. amen. Uh, I'm going to ask Pastor E.C. if you can post the accounts for us. Thank you so much. You are always the best. Friends, tonight we will give offering on God's secret weapons, okay? The accounts are showing presently on the screen. And for those of you who are not in Nigeria, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure that everybody will be part of giving an offering today. Oh, Lord, I praise you. Thank you, Jesus. We love you. We love you, Lord. Let all of us give an offering as we close. 
as you receive this communion, I prophesy health. I prophesy multiple marriages. I prophesy peace for our nation. Heal our land, oh God. Let your goodwill be seen all over Nigeria. In Jesus' precious name. Shalom, my friends. I want to invite you to join us this morning at 10 a.m. at at our um, GRA location, number five, Oregon Street, off Adenya Road, off Ihama Road, Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. Or you can join us online for those of you who are not on ground. Please join us. This communion, I call it communion of manifestation of the decrees that we have made today. The communion of healing for our land in Jesus' precious name. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your day. And don't forget to give your offering. Amen. Bye-bye.